are going to be editing our Instagram Reels on a desktop today in DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing program available to everybody. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. So this is what you're gonna see when you first open up DaVinci Resolve. Note that it does take a little long to load sometimes, and if you're having troubles with it, just restart your computer and you should be fine. So you're gonna have here, you can have your latest projects. You can organize this so you can see fall reels. I have a folder for all my fall reels right here. This is gonna be a lot easier for when you're coming back to your projects later. So I'm gonna start a new project in this folder. I'm right click, add new project, and I'm gonna name it something that's specific to the folder name so that it's easy to find later. So video ideas reels. There we go. Before we start editing, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of DaVinci Resolve. So basically how it works, think of it as different tabs that allow you to do different things to your video. And the way you switch between the tabs is these buttons down here at the bottom. So the first one you don't really need to know about, I don't ever use it, but it's basically how to add media to your videos. The second one is the cut module, I never use this one either. It's another way to edit. This is the one that I like to use and it's edit. So you can see it's the third one down here and this is gonna allow you to import all your files, make all your cuts, add your transitions and do a bulk of your editing right here. Next is Fusion. This is for VFX. You don't need to use this right now either. The next one is color. This I like to just be able to adjust my clips to make them look better. And next is Fairlight. This is for music, so you can actually add music effects. And finally, Deliver. This is how you're gonna be exporting your files. So the three tabs that I do use in this are Edit, Color, and Deliver. Those are the only ones that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So let's start by going into our Edit. We're gonna want to import all our video clips so we can start editing. So to import your video clips, you can do that in multiple ways. You can right click in this media pool. If you don't see this media pool, just click on it up top and you'll see a media pool. Right click and import media. Now you just have to find your files. Also, you can just open the finder window, find your folder with your videos and drag them into your media pool. When you're gonna drag them in, it's gonna ask you to change your project frame rate. Always change it. So just click change and you're ready. You can see that these videos are all already in vertical. So once you have your video files in, I'm just gonna close the tabs I don't need. So to close tabs, you just select the tabs and click on them again. All we really need is our media pool and then you're gonna have your timeline here. This is where you're gonna put all your videos. This is your preview window and then this is your timeline preview window. It's all gonna make sense as we start to do this. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create our timelines. So basically our video edits and we know that we're gonna do five of them. So we're gonna create five timelines. And to do that, you're gonna click on the media pool you're gonna right click in this gray area and you're gonna go create new timeline. I like to name these two. So I'm gonna name this one, Google search. Now you're not just going to create the timeline as is, we need to make some changes. So click this use project settings and change your format. So currently it is horizontal, we wanna make it vertical. So to make it vertical, you just have to invert those numbers. So 1080, 1920. Create. Now, to have all of your timelines show up in little tabs on your timeline, you're gonna need to press a button. So here, you're gonna press this timeline view option, and it's going to allow you to see all your timelines, and then you can easily switch between them. I suggest doing this after you create your first timeline, because if you do this later, you're gonna have to click on all of them, it's gonna be an extra step. So this is gonna save you time in the long run. So let's create the rest of our timeline. So once again, create new timeline, 
You can preview just to make sure that the format is right by just clicking on the different tabs and you're gonna see on the side here, it's going to show it as a vertical timeline so we know we're all set. So now we can start editing. Personally, I don't like to cut in here. I like to bring everything down to the timeline and cut it that way. So I'm just going to drag it down here and I'm gonna press the space button to press play. The, sim the simplest way to start looking for the sim And now to get rid of the things that we don't want, there's two ways we can do that. So the first one is we can just drag the end to start where we want it to start. And the second one is by using a blade tool. So think of it this way. Here is our entire video, except we have some mistakes in this. So all we do is we rip out those mistakes and then all we have left is the correct video, which is our edited video. So we're doing this in similar in this. So how to do that is you're gonna use your blade tool. And to access your blade tool, you can either hit the blade right here or you can press B on your keyboard. So I'm gonna press B and press on the video where I want to get rid of it. Now to select the clip to get rid of, we wanna to switch tools because if we keep the blade up, it's just gonna cut a bunch of cuts in there and that's not what we want. Now we just wanna be able to select this. So that's where we're gonna use the arrow. So that's your select tool or A. So I can press that select it I know it's selected because it's red delete that and now if I press on the see this empty space between um, the end and the video I can once it's gray like that I can just right click ripple delete and that's just gonna get rid of that empty space because if I don't get rid of that it's just going to be black so we want to cut that out again let's do another blade do another blade there. Easiest way to start looking for video ideas is to start typing into Google. There we go. I know I'm gonna want that. So let's select these two that we don't want. Let's delete them. There we go. So let's get rid of that. Another blade. Switch my thing to arrow. Delete. So go through your video and just get rid of any of the wording that just doesn't make sense. And what we're trying to do is we're not looking to make this as long as possible. What you want to do is you want to get rid of any of the unnecessary things, anything that repeats itself to make it as short, precise, and as entertaining as possible. There we go. And now I did some close-up shots of that, so I'm gonna go into that. So I'm gonna to wanna to add this, but I don't like the thing that I'm saying. So I can drag this down as just the video clip. So you can see here, if you click, you scroll over the bottom, you see the audio here or the video here. If I just use the video, it's just gonna put down the video file. Whatever file is up top is what's going to be showing for you. So this video clip is on top and that is what's gonna show. But say I want to zoom in on this. So if I want to fine tune any of this, then I select it and I'm gonna click on my inspector. My inspector is going to allow me to zoom in, change my positioning. Here we go. So I like that whole part to add to the end. Instead of clicking on the video or the, the audio, I can just click on the whole thing and drag it down. Anything that is down here on my timeline is going to show in the video. If there's some extra audio in there, I suggest zooming in and looking at your waveform. So your waveform is going to show up in your audio underneath your audio and this is going to show you where you start talking so if i know i'm going to start talking there i can just get rid of that area move that in videos about you can even scroll down and see what people also ask so these are other great ideas for videos perfect and let's zoom in on this okay so once you have your video edited then it's time to add some color to it I suggest that when you're using the same shot to vary it up a little bit and zoom in in some of the clips so that all of it doesn't look the same because the more you can make changes within your shots, the more appealing your video will be. 
So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna go into my inspector and zoom in a little bit. I'm also cautious where my top of my frame is. So see, I'm not gonna want my eyes near the front top. I'm gonna wanna try to position myself as far in the middle as possible because with Instagram Reels, it often crops the top and the bottom if you're watching a reel on the feed versus in the Reels app. So I wanna make sure that everything key, including me, my talking head, is in the center. Perfect. So I like that, now I'm gonna color it. So I'm gonna go over to my color tab, and within my color tab, you can see there's a bunch of different controls here, but there's only really one that I suggest you use, and it's this circle with, with a bullseye in it. And in here, your basic controls that we're gonna use is contrast. We're gonna increase our contrast. We're going to increase our shadows. And then we can also use our temperature. So our temperature allows us to adjust if it's too yellow or too blue. So I can just either add some yellow to make it warmer or some blue to make it cooler. So then we're just gonna go into all the clips and adjust them. So once you're happy with that, it's just a matter of exporting it. So to export, you're gonna go to the spaceship and we're going to export it. So this is real video ideas one and this is Google search. What you're gonna change here is you're gonna change it to an MP4, use vertical resolution, you wanna make sure that's selected, add to your render key. So now this is going to allow you to select where you're gonna to want to export that video. Say it's on my desktop, and now it's just exporting it for me. So there you have it. Now you know how to edit your reels in DaVinci Resolve. If you'd like me to create more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, please let me know so I can create more to teach you all the ins and outs on how to use DaVinci Resolve. And remember, messy action is always better than no action.